Hello everyone, I got this in the mail today and what it is is a uh, open source scan converter, o OSSC and uh, it came via Royal Mail <coughs> and customs sticker on the back uh, I thought, oh let's open it up. So I actually haven't opened it up yet um, I'm going to bring out a knife here and let's see what's inside All right. It's gonna stay. Let's put that to the side. This is a remote control. And uh, I opted to get the power supply with it, and it comes with. I was actually wondering how they were gonna do this, but it comes with a uh, U.S. connector and a British connector. European connector, an Australian connector. And the power supply is supposed to be able to handle um, yeah, 100 to 240 volts output 5 volts, 1.2 amps. <clears throat> so here's the OSSC itself. And it's tinier than I thought it would be. And this one's the 1.6 model that has the HDMI plug on it, which I kind of like a bit more. Um, and then SCART component VGA. And the switch says on off on the top. Actually, it's, it looks like a VGA plug, but it says V3N, so I'll have to read up on that. And then this says 5 volts DC, and then it's got a display and two tactile buttons. All right, we have an Altera, I'll oh, get this better in the shot here, Altera Cyclone 4, some other chip, I guess I could look at the, uh, there is a block diagram available for this in a schematic, <clears throat> and OSSC version 1.6, and then an ITE, what is this, ITE, AT6613E, uh, which I assume is the uh, video sampler, probably. And then clock chip 27 megahertz. And uh, that's about it. Neat. Well, let's try it out, eh? So I've got it wired up temporarily to uh, my new TV, which. Um, I set up in front of the fireplace because I haven't got the stand for it just yet. But I thought it'd be worthwhile to try out. So let's switch this guy on. And it says the firmware version. And it put up a neat test pattern on the TV set. And this pan back here. And my crummy tripod. And let's just try it out. Switch it all on here. Yeah, that buzzing noise happening. I'm not sure what the issue is though. No sync. I, according to the manual, it has a separate audio output, and I'm wondering if I have to buy an HDMI audio injector to make this work properly. Let's find out. Well, actually the audio works just fine. Look at this buzzing noise, though. Turn that down a bit. It's, it's, it's not apparent from the camera, but I gotta tell you, this looks incredibly good. Wow. <laughs> I 
thought the Genesis could do RGB. <laughs> See how much lag there is, I guess. It's hard to tell. It seems, I mean, it's hard for me to tell. My eyes are old, but it, uh, it doesn't seem to have hardly... Well, I can't tell that it has any lag at all, actually. It looks perfectly fluid. It responds perfectly. Yeah, the main difference between this and composite is that um, it's very colorful. Yeah, I really can't explain that enough. It looks really quite good. I'm actually surprised the audio works too. <laughs> the Super Nintendo real quick. You can see a slight bit of a ghost on there, but it, otherwise it's incredibly sharp and colorful. This my, is my cable itself too. So I notice there's a slight ghost on this. But this the same uh, machine had a really pretty bad dot crawl problem too with composite. It almost looks like it's ghosting slightly. But I, I paid like nine dollars for the cable on Amazon. really good. Try out the Sega Saturn. So I'm not a huge Sega Saturn aficionado. I just happened to repair a couple of them. And um, so fair warning, this is a slightly modified machine. <laughs> Colorful it is. This machine looks really sharp compared to the Super Nintendo. That razor sharp was no ghosting at all.
can't, I'll be honest with you, I can't remember what the controls are. So this may be rather horrific. <laughs> It's about the Maverick Hunters, General. They are far too eager to please the humans and continue to hunt down the Reptoids. Do you believe they pose a significant threat? Perhaps. You already know the truth, General. Their sole mission has been to destroy any Reptoids who fail to do as the humans order. It's in your best interest to stop them now before they turn on you. You possess enough power to destroy them! I have no idea what's going on here. I will not betray the humans. Remove yourself from my sight. My business with you has concluded. <laughs> Very well. But you will change your mind soon, I assure you. Oh, that's really smooth. A little wash out. Yeah. It's interesting how it's handling this uh, transparent spotlight thing. If I like that or not. I think on a regular composite uh, upscaler it looked solid yellow. Interesting. Fair. I'm supposed to hit those guys. That's helpful. What? Maybe we can't. No. Well, uh, awesome. Looks really good on the Saturn as well. I thought before we leave, I would try out the 240p test suite. Oh, that's interesting.
I could probably actually do the lag test on this because I actually have a real CRT. I just need to figure out how to split the RGB signal um, between these two. Mm. So it's about two seconds to switch between 480i and 240p currently. So, it's interesting. The drop shadow test is kind of interesting. What this does on the built-in scaler is it just draws a uh, outline of this I think it's supposed to actually alternate every other frame so that you get the illusion of a transparency. In fact, on the uh, on the video camera, you actually do see it on the TV. It looks very flickery. If I zoom in just slightly. Let's zoom in. There we go. It's probably about as good as it gets with an LCD um, for a transparency effect. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Would I recommend getting the uh, open source scan converter? Yes, I would. It's kind of expensive, but uh, it's a lot cheaper than the uh, FrameMeister or some of the more expensive uh, scalers. And from what I've read, it actually performs just as well. So, until next time, have a lovely day.